Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, this is not going to be a project video today, it's a new tool unveiling. Um, I recently had reason to buy a new drill press, this is my existing drill press. It's a silver line, 350 watt drill press, which I bought when I first started woodworking. I've had it now for about four or five years, and it's done me great. But recently it's starting to show its age. The bearings on the shaft have started to become really noisy. The spring on the release is broken. Um, the depth stop doesn't work very well. Um, so it's a bit aged. So I did a couple of jobs recently and I got paid. And I decided to invest that money inside a new drill press.
this is it. It's the SIP B16/16 uh, drill press. Um, I got it from iedepot.ie. Great service, by the way. I'll leave a link in the description down below of where you can get hold of one of these. Um, free delivery as well. I ordered it yesterday. Arrived this morning. Can't complain with that. This thing is so big, though, uh, that it won't fit on my current bench. Um, my other one, I'll bring over the, the old drill press, is, is, is tiny compared to that monster. Um, it's huge. It's absolutely massive. Anyway, um, I am, of course, absolutely delighted with it. It is fantastic. It really is a nice drill. Um, I'll turn it on for you. It's really quiet. And that's it, it's going. And my other one, you, you, you couldn't hear yourself thinking it was so loud. So that's nice. Um, it's got a nice depth of drill. I love the adjustment on the back, which is a crank handle for the table. So that cranks up and down. That works really well. One thing I don't like about it is there is a little bit of slop in the rack and the, the carriage it sits in, so there's quite a bit of play there, but that's here and there. You can live with that. It's got the chuck guard, which is extendable as well. We can, we can adjust that down if we need to. And it flips up. So the depth stop on this is kind of cool. Uh, it's this little collar here. Okay, it's got a grub screw tightener. So at the moment, it's at full. Okay, I can rotate that all the way down. But let's say I only want, say, uh, let's say we only want 20 mil. We line up the 20 mark with the arrow and we tighten that down. And then when we drop this handle down, you only get 20 mil of, of travel. If I adjust that now, so we do 10, I only get 10. Um, 16 speeds, I haven't figured out how to change the speeds yet. Um, but basically you turn that and then there's two, there's three pulleys inside the top two belts and you can adjust the, the, um, the belts to different heights, different size pulleys and that will affect the speed. Um, yeah, I'm really really pleased with it. Um, so probably the next project that we're going to be doing is going to be a drill press table on wheels um, and I'll have to find a home for it. That should be interesting. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. It's a quick video on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one uh, and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.